Hello everyone, welcome to the Innovation Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a very simple and very cheap constant current battery charger using some old laptop power supplies that you have at home. So usually these are the power supplies that people will throw away or get rid of when they buy a new computer because the new computers will also come with new power supplies. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can recycle them or repurpose them to save you money. However, unlike my earlier charger videos, I am going to be using a DC to DC bulk converter in this case, and that will be a constant current DC to DC bulk converter to accomplish this function. And I would like to mention that the inspiration to try using this bulk converter came from a suggestion that one of my subscribers made that I can also accomplish the same function um, using a bulk converter uh, depending on my power supply. So that made me realize that I actually had a bunch of these uh, power supplies here and I've actually done this in the past to use it to recharge my car batteries and um, yeah so I wanted to make a video a quick video to show you guys that this is also possible. So I wanted to mention that there is a difference between when we use a DC to DC bulk converter like this and when we use a DC to DC boost converter like this in building these chargers. So for the case of the DC to DC boost converter as I've shown in my other videos you can only charge or recharge batteries with charging voltages that are higher than your input. So for example, if your input is 12 volts, you can only charge batteries that are higher than 12 volts. Or if your input is 24 volts, you can only charge batteries that are higher than 24 volts. But if we, when we use a bulk converter, we will kind of be going backwards on that function. So we can only charge batteries whose charging voltages are lower than our input. So in this case, we are going to be using a 19.5 volt uh, source from the laptop power supply. So, and our target will be to charge a 12 volt battery. And this allows you to kind of recharge different kinds of uh, customized DIY batteries, depending on what you're making, all the way down to 1.2 volts. So this is really amazing. And that was why I wanted to make the video to show you guys that you can also do this. All right, let's get to it. But before we get started, I would like to mention that you should always kind of uh, think twice before getting rid of uh, used uh, power supplies like these because you never know when an emergency will strike and you can find them useful, especially if you're somebody that does uh, DIY projects. If you do decide to get rid of them, please don't play a fast one by throwing them into your garbage can or your dumpsters because what happens is that these guys will end up in a landfill somewhere and we all know that they have components that will not be good for the environment. All right, so let's do a quick review on this uh, DC to DC bulk converter. And this is a constant current converter. That's why I'm using it for my battery charging. So you can easily find this on eBay or Amazon. And uh, some of the core criteria that I always look for will be the price, the input voltage range, output voltage range, the output current rating, the uh, power rating of the unit, and lastly, the uh, conversion efficiency. So for this guy here, um, I was able to get this at a unit price of about $12, and it has an input voltage range of 6 to 40 volts, an output voltage range of 1.2 to 36 volts, and it has an output current rating of about 20 amps, and um, a power rating of 300 watts and also an efficiency rating of 95 percent so the one thing i like about this unit was on amazon they had a very good labeled description to this unit to show you where what is where the inputs and the outputs are and kind of described everything they also added an on off switch which is quite impressive also for the power supply, if you don't already have something you can use like I'm doing here, you can find this on eBay for less than $15. And this is an old HP a laptop power supply. It's rated for 230 watts. It has an output voltage rating of 19.5 volts and 
an output current rating of 11.5 amps. All right, that's it for this power supply. And uh, let's go ahead and hook it up and, and see how everything goes. So what we have here now is the test setup. But before we get to use it to recharge some batteries, I would like to walk you guys through some steps that I take to make sure that I'm doing everything safely. So the first thing that I usually do would be to test the power supply that I'm going to be using. So as you can see here, this is the AC input and this is the DC output cable. So what I will usually do would be to cut this cable since I'm no longer going to be using this power supply for uh, my computer or my laptop. So I can cut this cable. So this allows me to do a couple of things. The first thing would be to actually measure the output voltage coming out of this power supply to make sure that it matches what I expect. And um, secondly, would be to verify the polarity coming out of these uh, cables. As you can see, white and black. So the white will be the positive and the black will be the negative. So then I'll put some ring logs on it to make it easier to connect to the DC DC bulk converter. And the next thing that I will do will be to connect my multimeter to the output of the DC to DC bulk converter and then adjust the voltages to, uh, all the way down and all the way up. This will also allow me to know that the DC to DC bulk converter functions as um, expected. Then after that, I will adjust the output current all the way down as I mentioned in my last video for the DC to DC boost converter and then after that it will basically be to connect my batteries. So at this point we have everything connected, system is fully configured and it's time to charge some batteries. So now going over what we have here, so we have our AC coming in here, this is our power supply, this is our 19.5 volt DC coming out of here, it goes into the DC to DC bulk converter input, then our adjusted charging voltage of 14.6 volts comes out of here and goes into the battery. So at this point what we're going to do will be to adjust the charging current so right now we have it set at uh, 0.57 amps just to keep it safe so we don't damage the DC to DC bulk converter. So at this point what we're going to do will be to adjust the charging current to the recommended charging current for the battery we are charging. In this case my, my target for charging this battery will be somewhere between 10 to uh, 12 amps. So let's say 11 amps. So all right, so let's go ahead and set that. All right, my friends, looking here, you can see that our battery is charging. I was actually able to drive the output of this DC to DC bulk converter all the way to about 11.5 amps. So, but I had to drop it back down to 7 amps because I realized that it was tripping, uh, maybe due to overheat. Um, I will try it again when I have a fan on to see if I can keep that charging current stable at above 11 amps. So, but yeah, it's charging and quite impressive. So right now we have our charging battery voltage is about 13.6 volts, charging current of 7.35 amps, and we're putting in about 100 watts into the battery. An observation that I made while using this DC-DC bulk converter to charge my batteries was that um, if you're going to exceed about 10 to 11, amps uh, as you can see here we are right now we are charging at 13 amps um, putting in about 182 watts into the battery pack so if you're going to go this high with, with your charging uh, current you might want to use a fan to cool the dc to dc bulk converter if not if it gets hot then you your current setting will crash down to about one amp and if you don't want that to happen, make sure you add a fan to it to keep it cool. And uh, what I saw was that with the fan connected, you know, the whole system was very stable at uh, 13 amps or 11 amps or 10 amps. 
no issues at all all right i just wanted to mention that my friends we have come to the end of this video and as you have seen in this video we have shown that it is possible to recharge your batteries using this constant current dc to dc bulk converter and an old server power supply all right i hope that you had fun watching this video and if you did please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also uh, you can support the innovation lab by sharing our videos with your friends and uh, interest groups all right my friends i will see you guys in the next video